As we are analyzing agriculture companies which are from Malaysia and international, it is based on MFRS 141 and IES 41 that explain about the agriculture activity as the management by an entity of the biological asset into agriculture produce for sale, processing or consumption or into additional biological asset. Biological asset is living and animals and plants that are controlled by an entity as a result of past events. And agriculture produce is harvested produce of the entity's biological asset. The company that we have chosen from Malaysia is Teosan Capital Berhad, which is located at Yongbin. Johor Bahru, while an international is Chiaran Pok Pine Foods Public Company Limited from Bangkok, Bangkok, Thailand. These both companies are public listed companies which Teo Seng with Bursa Malaysia and also CPF with the Stock Exchange Thailand. Teo Seng Company follow the MFRS and Companies Act 2016, while CPF Company follow IAS as a standard. The nature of business for Teo Seng is layer farming, feed, pepper egg tray, animal health product, fertilizer, and trading of egg. However, as for CPF, is feed, farm, and food. The same company is a big company that has over 8 subsidiaries throughout Malaysia and Singapore. Meanwhile, CPF covers 17 countries and exports to more than 30 countries across 5 continents. As for the recognition, both MFRS and IAS prescribe that NPP shall recognize a biological asset or agriculture produce when and only when the entity controls the asset as a result of past events, it is probable that future economic benefits associated with the asset will flow to the entity and the fair value or cost of the asset can be measured reliably. You can see in the notes presented by Teosan Capital Berhad, the biological assets comprise of bullets and layers. Furthermore, CPF's biological assets comprise of livestock biological assets such as swine, chicken, duck, etc. Based on MFRS 141 Agriculture and IAS 41 Agriculture, a biological asset shall be measured on initial recognition and at the end of each reporting period at its fair value less cost to sell. Except for the case described in paragraph 30, where the fair value cannot be measured reliably, that biological asset shall be measured at its cost, less any accumulated depreciation and any accumulated impairment losses. As you can see in the notes presented by the Kyosin Capital Verhide, the biological assets are initially measured at fair value less cost to sell. The fair value of bullets and layers is determined using a discounted cash flow model based on the expected number of table eggs produced by each layer, the expected projected selling price of the tables, eggs and salvage value for old hand and after allowing for feed costs, contributory asset charges for the land and farmhouses owned by the entity and other costs incurred in getting the bullets and layers to maturity. Cost to sell include the incremental selling costs, including estimated cost of transport, but excludes finance costs and income tax. Meanwhile, for CPF Public Company Limited, as you can see in the notes to the financial statement, the basis of initial measurement for biological assets are measured at fair value less cost to sell. in MFRS 141 and IAS 41 again or loss arising on initial recognition of a biological asset at fair value less cost to sell and from a change in fair value less cost to sell of a biological asset shall be included in profit or loss for the period in which it arises. Again, or loss arising on initial recognition of agricultural produce at fair value less cost to sell shall be included in profit or loss for the period in which it arises. As you can see in the notes 3.7 in Joseph Capital Berhad's annual report, the change in fair value of livestock are recognized in the statement of profit or loss.
Also shown in the notes for me, there is a change in fair value of biological asset amounting 28,824,848 ringgit in the year of 2018 and 20,980,399 ringgit in the year of 2017. Positive public company limited gains or losses on change in fair value less cost system are also recognized in profit or loss. It is shown in statement of income it has loss of 3,974,508 baht in the year of 2018 and a gain of 56,554 baht in the year of 2017. As required by MFRS and IAS, an entity shall present the carrying amount of its biological assets separately on the face of its statement of financial position. It is clearly shown in the annual report of Tiosan Capital Berhad that changes in biological asset is included in the consolidated statement of comprehensive income. And the carrying amount of biological asset is presented in the consolidated statement of financial position. It is also shown in the cash flow as a part of the changes in working capital. Any further details are clarified in the notes to the financial statement. CPF Public Company also included the carrying value of its biological asset in the statement of financial position. Any changes in fair value of biological assets in the statement of income and statement of cash flow. Any further details are clarified in the notes to the financial statement.